Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and we're back for um, Lesson 3 in our, um, our Labyrinth, and we will be doing three more tangles. We're doing K5, and I'm going to show you on this one. This is K5 out of the primer book. This is the new tangle that Maria just introduced. And this is P5. And um, we are going to put those in here. Right here. So let's start out with K5. And I'm just going to show you the little um, the book. And here is K5. That's what. What we're going to do is this one right here. So we're going to start out and I'm just going to put kind of two oil maybe on if I were on the camera that would be a good thing. Let me slide my camera down a little bit and then we're going to put the next one so it kind of goes under and we're going to do a row of those. And I like mine to kind of connect. This is a very simple little tangle, yet we can make it, we can add to it to make it whatever we want. I might add a little bit more, we'll see how it goes. Now, we're going to come into this tangle and we're going to put an aura. I think I'm just going to jump over there and do that one and then come and do these two. Now to keep this one from being too plain and I don't have any darkened backgrounds, I am going to um, do a little aura in this background and then darken that in so that I don't have a huge background to fill in. We'll aura and then fill in that background. And that gives us the drama we need without too much filling in. And there we have that. Now, to give this a little bit more, <clears throat> to tie it in with the others where I've used white, I'm going to take my Jelly Roll pen, and I'm going to put some dots just in that center piece. Watching very careful that I don't put my hand over that area because, of course, you know the jelly roll doesn't dry quite as fast as the micron. That ink just takes a little bit longer to dry. So there we have a little highlight on that. We'll come back and we're going to do some shading. Okay, now I'm going to move on to this next section and I'm going to do the new tangle that Maria did. So um, no step outs. This was just introduced to um, ZZTs, but Maria did it on her... Um, series from pa um, pro Project Pack 5. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. It's so simple. We already have our two lines that are echoed 
and we're just going to draw a line up then a line and they just alternate how simple is that it's called duda And there we have Duda. And I like to come back and give this a little bit more. So I'm going to put a little black dot on here. There won't be step outs until Maria Lis listen, but since she drew it, I figure, well, I can draw that. And um, how quick and easy that is to draw and um, since this has dried we're going to go ahead and and shade this and I'm going to do double shading I'm going to take my charcoal pencil my graphite excuse me and I'm just going to come along this edge with my graphite And then I'm going to take my shading stump and then I'm going to take my white charcoal pencil and I'm going to go back over that and I'm going to blend. It's going to give it a little highlight of a grayish color. And it just when the light picks up on it, it really picks up on it. And there we have it. Now we're going to do P5, which is a beautiful tangle. And I'm going to show that one. Here is P5 right there. I like that one. I like how it turns out. I'm going to show you a little preview. Here's P5. come out a little bit so you can see I'm going to do P5 so it runs right down here and there are a couple of ways that you can do P5 so we're going to start out and I'm going to divide this into um, some squares and then we're going to start with the arches go corner to corner and I am going I did both of them now I'm going to draw lines come from that center and then we're going to fill in every other one so I'm going to start in the center usually I don't do that but let's see what I usually start on one side but I want them to be every other one all the way through both of those squares And let's see if we can't come in a little bit on this. You can kind of see that I need to fill that in a little bit more when I get close. Okay, now I'm going to take my 01 brown 01 and I'm, oh, I like to do this, these little corners. 
just going to round off those little corners. I like how that, you know, I like the look. Now I'm going to take my brown pen and echo that shape. And there we have our first one. Now we're going to do, so I want them in pairs, so we have two more, two more. And so we're going to, I'm going to take my, my um, paper and I'm going to do right in here. Now I can go both directions. I could either make my arch curve in or curve out. Where the where it curves, that's where you want to draw these spokes out. So it goes on the concave. I mean the convex. And there we have it. Now we can Fill these in. And sometimes I'll just thicken up this line right here at the bottom. And now we can come back in and put our um, our stripe. A tiny little dot in there so that I have just to carry on kind of my theme that I'm doing with a little white in there and we need um, a little shading in this so I'm going to take and I'm just going to put my shading on that brown side It really doesn't matter where you put it. But I just thought I, I would like it there. And now you can see we're working our way around. We have um, one more tangle that we could put on this side and then we're ready to do the other half. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a simple little tangle. See if I can find my cheat sheet that says what it is. I know what it is, but I just don't. Oh, there it is. It is P2, and I'm going to put it in this part right here. So you can see on where I've done it, I've done it right here. Really fun little tangle. And it's just, we're just going to do grid it off. with little lines. So I'm just going to come and I'm actually just going to turn my corner, kind of spiral it around. And I don't want these too thick I want them fairly narrow and I could keep going, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I want to or not. Let me come in so you can see. And now we're just going to put orbs so that they just kind of stack on each other in here. I put my first orb in the center and then I just kind of stack them out. And sometimes if I get a little Put your first orb there, and then they kind of just overlap. 
So it kind of has that holly bar effect. First orb, then you holly bar. So it kind of looks like they're stacking. I'm going to stop there because I want to add some other tangle up in there. So then you can come back and fill in behind with black. I started because I had a little, um, I wasn't careful and I had some lines I didn't like. So when that happens, you can just fill it in and they just kind of disappear on you. I like to rotate it so it's in a comfortable position for me. Tiny little spaces. And now we can take our and there we have our final one for today. It's looking cool. And you're probably wondering about this one. Yes, I cut it. I might have mentioned that in one of the other videos. And I'm going to mount this on another piece of paper on a um, Elpis tile and then do some cartouches on, on this. Use this as my centerpiece and then do some cartouches so it should be really fun. I'm going to keep you will keep giving lessons and we'll finish this up and then we'll mount it and do cartouches. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Everything you see me use, all the pens, pe templates, or um, pencils are all available on my website and it helps support this channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.